guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I have missed you guys so much, but I am finally back at it editing. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who left such kind comments on my last community post. I was so stressed. Everything was going wrong with my computer um, and my setup, but we are back. We have everything back to normal, so hopefully we won't have any more hiccups going forward. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to finally be able to hang out with Edward and Fee. It has been some time since their mom has passed and I really want to get them on their way towards fame because the 1940s are coming and they're coming fast. So I hope you guys are looking forward to today's episode. I know I really am. So let's go ahead and check in on the guys. So it is currently... 5.30, 6.30, 7.30 in the morning. We have the boys, I think they just finished their last gigs because I have filmed this episode a couple times. We actually have made quite a bit of progress with these two guys as far as fame is concerned. Basically, Edward has been progressing in his aspiration to become a mastered actor. He is now in the advanced actor stage of his aspiration. He's considered a notable newcomer and under his fame points, I went ahead and I got him the noticeable. The reason why I got noticeable is because Edward's always been more work ethic, more um, skill and honing his creative skills when it comes to the craft of acting. Whereas Theo is more like, hey, if I know this girl and we get seen making out, I'll become famous type of guy. So I feel like Theo was more of the networking um, reward, whereas um, noticeable is something that would definitely appeal to Edward more because it says by honing this aspect of his personality there's a chance that a single skill or career-based action from here on out may catch the public's attention giving Edward an extra boost of fame so all of that hard work that he's put into uh, becoming an amazing actor or very talented in what he's doing, that's going to get noticed now. Um, and I gave Theo this one. So it says, networking talent also means any socialization with a celebrity uh, will earn him fame. So he'll even become easier for him to talk to famous people. So I gave that to Theo. So that's where we're at with the guys. Theo is the two-star celebrity. Um, Edward is a little bit behind him, but they're both doing really great. Also, uh, Theo had his phone number leaked to the public so now he keeps getting weird texts although I feel like um this was from a guy so he's kind of like oh that obsessed fan what a creepy fan I am gonna get them to try to check for some gigs so um Mr. Uh, Edward actually got promoted when in his acting career so he's getting new gigs available which is very cool so maybe we should try to do this critters from the Moven forest can make up to $1,250. We should totally do it. Guitar level three. He actually likes the guitar and he had a guitar in his inventory at some point. I have no clue where it went. It might have been left at um, his sister's place. However, we do have enough money right now. Ooh, I'll delete this TV while I'm here. So I'm going to get him to go and practice. What is his guitar level right now? Oh, he doesn't have too far to go. That's cool. Because he needs a level three, it said, for his audition. And this guy already has charisma level two, so I'm really not going to worry about it. So Theo's going to come over, and he is going to watch Edward practice his guitar. And he's going to say, you know, bro, um, Anna, you know, the girl I've been seeing. And Edward's like, yes, I know. You won't let me forget her. <laughs> um, Theo's going to be like, well, she's really smart. She's a genius. You know, like, she basically wants to be famous as much as I do. Um, and Edward's like, yeah, I kind of got that, uh, got that vibe from her. And so Theo's going to be like, well, she's got this great idea. Apparently there's this new up and coming hot spot where a lot of paparazzi hang out and other celebrities. And it's a really great mingling opportunity for me. So Edward's like, oh, cool. You know, go have fun. I'm happy for you. He's like, well... I actually kind of need you to come with me. And Edward's going to be like, why? Don't you want some alone time with Anna? Why would you want um, me to come with you? So he's going to come sit down because he's like, obviously, you're up to something here. What's going on, Theo? He's like, well... So Anna has this cousin and she's super annoying and she just pops out out of nowhere and completely, you know, takes over Anna's space. Like she has no privacy. Like we haven't been able to hang out at all at their place. And he's like, well, you know, you could always bring her back here. And he's like, yeah, but I, 
I need you to do me a favor, bro. You know, when's the last time I've ever asked for anything? You know, I've, you know, I've found all of our connections. I've found so many different things for us out here. I'm the one that finds the gigs and meets the people. And Edward's like, what do you want? Just spit it out. Well, do you think you could maybe, like, babysit her cousin, you know, like, take her to the other side of the club, <laughs> you know, away from here? And Edward's like, you want me to babysit a grown adult because you want alone time with your girlfriend? Well, not just alone time. I, I want to be able to get seen with Anna and get photographed, you know? And so Edward's like, oh my god, Theo, why can't you just leave me alone? Edward's like, you always loop me into these crazy things, but okay, I'll go with you. So Theo's like, great, we're going tonight, so get ready, and then we're gonna go pick up the girls soon. So Edward's like, all right. And Theo's gonna yell from the top of the stairs, you know, make sure you dress up, bro. This is a nice place, you know, we want to make sure we're looking good. <laughs> so Edward's like, oh my gosh, being groomed by my brother, this is wonderful. Okay, so both the guys are ready. They are super dressed up. Edward is looking fine, if you ask me. And of course, Theo is also looking very dapper and handsome. So the two of them are gonna go travel over to Anna's place and pick up their dates. Okay, so the guys have arrived and the girls have actually met them outside. Um, I don't know why they don't want them to go inside, but they have met the boys out here. Um, so they're basically ready to go. So let me introduce you to Miss Elizabeth Milton. She also happens to be the most beautiful cousin of our gorgeous lady over here, Miss Anna, who has completely dressed up to in press today. She is looking gorge. And she is also one of the, the amazing creations from one of my very good friends here on YouTube, Lady Sweetheart Sims. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, I will have it linked below because she is seriously amazing. She is the sweetest, kind person her name lady sweetheart is the perfect name for her channel because she really is so sweet and her series are so much fun and she is so good at cast like I like just praise her existence when it comes to creating sims she is so talented and I am such a fangirl the fact that this sim is in my game I honestly am just over the moon I cannot express to you how much I love her sim thank you so much for making Elizabeth and Anna for me I love these girls more than I love my own sim somewhat <laughs> like I really love them so thank you my dear friend I really appreciate you so these guys are here to pick up the girls and I think Theo's gonna be like whoa Anna you did not tell me how fine your cousin is I could have watched over her for you <laughs> although I do think that um Theo definitely has a oh he gives Anna a kiss so I'll let Edward do a um a friendly introduction he's a little bit uncomfortable right now so I don't know how well that's gonna go He's feeling very uncomfortable. I can see that they have received a first impression notification here. So let us go see how they feel about one another. Oh, interesting. So it says Edward's sentiments about Elizabeth. He thinks that she is responsible. So it was a good, positive first impression. This sim appears to be a very responsible person, capable of taking care of stuff. Elizabeth's sentiments about Edward is she thinks he's funny. Um, a sentiment of appreciation. Impossible not to notice that this sim has a striking sense of humor. Oh, that's so good because um, I know that um, Edward has actually worked really hard on <laughs> honing that skill. I've, I've already gone ahead and I've actually created a group for these guys called the Fame Club. I'm going to add little Elizabeth to it. That way we can all travel together um, and we will head out to their destination. Um, I think that Theo is going to be like, um, I've brought my brother along. I've been able to convince him to watch your cousin while you and I go dancing and have a great time. So Anna's like, this is great. Thank you so much. I didn't know what I was gonna do with her. Um, and uh, Theo's like, I think I have some ideas of what could be, <laughs> I'm sure my brother will definitely be enjoying his time. Um, 
I think Edward is uh, more of the type. Oh, he's feeling like he has a deep connection. That's probably with his brother. But okay, so we will go ahead and we will travel with all of our little friends and I will meet you there. Okay, so we have arrived at the hot spot that um, Anna had found out about here in town. Um, this was a build that I got off of the gallery. Okay, so it is under Art Deco Lounge. It was created by a Grim Girl NC. It is such a cool build. I think I might have made a couple changes to make it a little bit more time appropriate, but for the most part, it's the exact same build. Um, so amazing. So if you're interested or you want this in your game, it is under that origin user's name. So the, um, Theo and Anna are off to go do their own thing. Edward, look how handsome he is. Is he not the cutest? I love Edward. I have such a crush on Edward. <laughs> Out. To Sarah, Theo wants to serenade Anna. Where is she? Oh, she's over here. Or maybe she's gonna serenade him. These two are so cute. I swear he just follows her along like a little puppy dog so he can hang out with her. He's like, okay, I'll go wherever you want. Originally, I think it was all about fame. Oh. He's so in love with her. Um, so anyways, so Edward is over here doing his job. He's like talking to her. He's like, so uh, where are you from? You know, how did you end up living here with Anna? And she's like, oh, well, my family's from a farm actually. And I live, you know, in a really small town. You've probably never seen a town this small. And he's like, ah, I probably can relate a little. And she's like, really? And he's like, yeah, we're from farm too, actually. We actually moved out here just a few years ago. Um, to try to, you know, pursue our goals, but I definitely know what it's like to be from a small town. And she's like, oh, that's awesome. So he's gonna say to her about the fact, you know, so he's gonna be like, so why did you come here? And she's gonna be like, well, actually, she's like, you know, with everything that went on with the stock market crash, you know, my family actually lost the farm. It's been in our family for so many years. It was really sad, but my parents didn't have room at my aunt's place. And so they sent me to live with my cousin. And he's like, yeah, I know a lot of families that are having to do that right now. So he's definitely like understanding. Look, he looks shocked. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, these two are like, She's a horrible singer, by the way. <laughs> She's like, I want to sing to you too. He's like, this is the most beautiful sound I have ever heard. Even though you sound horrible, I'm in love. Wrong way. <laughs> Did you hear that? What's he doing? He is. Is he feeling great about it? Oh, he wants to go show off his moves. Well, you guys go up there together. So these two are definitely trying to catch the attention of the people around. Oh, and look, little cutie over here is helping. And uh, Anna's gonna be like, yeah, you know, I got my moves. He's like, I can see that. And he's like, so, yeah, so are you really close with Anna? Have things been going really well? And she's like, well, you know, honestly, has always sent money back to my family, has always taken care of us. Um, it just seemed like the logical place for me to go. And he's like, well, I'm really happy you had somewhere to go. I know a lot of people didn't have anything or anywhere to go. And she's like, me too. You know, Anna's great. She has her quirks. And he's like, yeah, so does my brother Theo. And she's like, yeah, he seems like quite the interesting guy. He's like, he is very interesting. Um, she thinks he's funny though, so maybe we should do like a knock-knock joke and try to make her laugh a little bit. Tell a funny story. There we go. So he's going to do that and they seem to be getting along really well. And he's going to be like, you know, you just don't seem like the, the country farmer type of girl. And she's like, honestly, she's like, Anna made me dress up like this because she didn't want to be seen in public with someone that looks like how I normally look, which is not this at all. This is Anna's dress. And he's like, ah, I see. He's like, I understand that. Theo also made me dress up. <laughs> she laughs. She's like, oh, that's so funny. Those two really are perfect for each other, aren't they? So it's not very often that Edward stays up really late, especially when he has a gig in the next morning. He has to go to his gig at 12 and he is still out. It is 2.30 in the morning. Oh, he just smacked himself. <laughs> She's laughing at him. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. So, you know, I think that he's definitely, I can, to say the least, I think he's definitely enjoyed um, her company. And I love that she is completely making fun of him. Yeah, you're not a great dancer. And she doesn't like, 
sugarcoat it, even though like they're kind of famous. She's not like, oh my god, you're so great. She's like, yeah, you really suck at dancing. You should probably work on that if you're wanting to be famous. <laughs> Edward's like, you know, it's getting really late. I do have a gig tomorrow in the morning. Do you mind? Uh, I think we're going to call it a night. He's like, but I'm going to take you home. So let's go ahead. He is going to travel with Elizabeth. I think that Theo and Anna are going to do whatever Theo and Anna do. Who am I to get involved in that? But Edward is going to take Miss Elizabeth home. Okay, so we are back home. She has changed into her normal clothing where she looks so gorgeous. And Edward is going to be like, you know, I actually, you know, I'm not going to lie. I was told to babysit you and uh, distract you. That way the two of them could hang out. But I have to be honest, I actually had a really good time with you. And I really enjoyed your company. So thank you so much. Aw, you made my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Oh, and now he's doing a little flirty. <gasps> little cuties. Um, so he has made sure that she's gotten home safe and arrived at home. And while he is dropping her off at his front at her front door, because he is the gentleman that Edward is, he notices that her house is super empty. Like last time they were here, this place was full of like really luxury items. Things were really good and he doesn't understand why, like what's going on. But he's not super close with Elizabeth yet, so I don't think he would ask her about it. I love that she seems to really um, love talking with him. Like she's really like saying things back and interacting with him and laughing at him instead of just being like, I'm not interested. I'm a robot. <laughs> she, um, but anyway, so it's time to say goodnight to little Miss Elizabeth. We are going to send our little Edward home. A very curious Edward. Curious about Elizabeth and also why their house is empty. So the guys are back home. Uh, Theo's going to be like, whoa, dude. Anna was really cute, wasn't she? And uh, Edward's like, yeah, he was, she was a nice girl. You know, I was really happy to get to know her. You know, we had a great time. And Theo's like, a nice girl. Did you see the dress she was wearing? She's gorgeous, bro. You're crazy not to be into her. And Edward's like, I am so focused on other things right now. He's like, I don't have time for women. And he's like, well, you should make some time for this one. She's gorgeous. But um, Edward's really curious about what was going on with um, Anna. So he's going to um, come over and he's going to say to Theo, you know, like, I don't mean to get involved. I know Anna's your girl and, you know, it's none of my business about what's going on. But um, I noticed when I was dropping Elizabeth back off at home that their place is completely empty. Like, when's the last time you've been over there? And Theo's like, what are you talking about? Anna's got, like, the best of everything. It's empty? He's like, yeah, is she moving? Maybe she's getting a new mansion and maybe she's really getting better. <laughs> um, Theo's like, no, her work's completely dried up. I'm really surprised to hear that though. So he's like, well, thanks for letting me know. I think I'll talk to her about it. Yeah, and Edward's gonna, and Edward's gonna be like, yeah, I think that would be for the best. Okay, the guys are off to their audition now. So hopefully these two will do good. So uh, Theo passed his audition and Edward passed, passed his audition. So both of them probably have things that they have to do for their gigs. So <laughs> Edward needs to develop his guitar skills. So I'm going to let him go ahead and just uh, do some more practicing. And he also has to research the playful interaction. And you need to develop your acting skills. So we should call over Anna. That way he can practice acting. He's gonna be like, hey, I've got a gig. Can you come over and run lines with me? I'd really appreciate it. And it also gives him a chance to find out what's going on with her and her living situation. So here is the most gorgeous woman on planet Earth. And she's also brought Elizabeth with her. <laughs> They're gossiping right now. Did you hear that that other woman got the role? I am way more qualified for this role. I just, I couldn't believe when the casting director said that. Theo's going to be like, there's no one better than you, honey. <laughs> um, so he's going to deal with her. And uh, Edward's going to, you know, I think Edward is definitely interested in this cutie pie. So he's going to give her a hug and he's going to be like, hi, it's great to see you. I'm going to get them to come sit together out here. He's going to be like, so this is how you normally look. He's like, I think, and she's like, yeah, I know it's a lot more boring. I'm not much of a 
glitzy glamour girl and he's like well i think this is actually way more you and i prefer this version of you much more oh look how stinking cute these two are i love how much edward can make her laugh and i think uh this girl looks a little bit jealous she's like oh, you just moved to town and you're already getting Edward to think you're cute. He won't even look at me. And every man looks at me. <laughs> like, Anna loves having all the boys' attention, not just one. Anyways, so uh, Theo's asked her to come up here. Theo is going to say to her, like, you know, my brother was dropping off your, your cousin last night at your place. And at your place and he noticed that your house is completely empty like what's going on with that and Anna's gonna be like I don't know what you're talking about he's like yeah like he said all your stuff was gone like your couch everything and she's like I don't know what you're talking about and he's gonna caress her cheek and just say to her Anna you can tell me anything like I'm not gonna judge you so Anna's gonna be like well <sighs> It doesn't matter because that's just the way things are right now. And he's going to be like, but why is it that? Why is that the way? She's like, well, you know, my landlord expects payment and I haven't been able to make the payment. So he took a couple of things and he's like, oh, so you got repossessed. She's like, yeah, he took everything. There's no money. It's completely dried up. And now I'm expected to take care of my cousin and I don't know what I'm going to do. And Theo's like, oh boy. He's like, well, I have an idea. You should move in with me and marry me. Marry you? There's nothing better than two celebrity couples being married. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, I think we should get married right away and I will take care of you and your, your cousin. And I think Edward is going to be talking. Oh, look, she's playing guitar too. These two are so perfect for each other. So Edward's going to say, so what's going on with your guys' house? And Elizabeth is going to be like, um, I don't know. Anna doesn't really tell me a whole lot, but there's this guy that keeps coming around and really being rough with her and he, he's stealing everything she owns. She won't tell me what's going on and it's really starting to scare me. And Edward's like, so he's hurting you guys. And she's like, well, Anna hasn't specifically said anything, but he doesn't seem like a very gentle man, if you know what I mean. So Edward's like, well, he's like, maybe you guys should come stay with us until it's safe you know we don't have a lot but at least you guys could get back on your feet until you find some work so i think elizabeth's gonna be like well I, you know i don't make the shots i just listen to what my cousin says you know i don't live with i i just follow what she says he's like okay well just let her know that it's an option. I would really be upset if you guys go back to that place right now. Like, if he's hurting you guys or if being being rude. He's like, I just would hate to see anything horrible happen to you. And as he says that, Anna comes down. She's like, what are you talking about horrible happening to us? And Elizabeth's like, well, Edward was asking Anna about, you know, our landlord and why he's being so, you know, mean with us. And she's like, why would you tell him about that? I can handle my own. And apparently she felt the need to take out the garbage in the process. So Ed, uh, Theo's going to be like, Anna, someone's hurting you now? Like, you didn't tell me that when we were upstairs. So he's going to be like, what are you talking about? And she's like, well, I didn't tell you because I knew you'd get upset. He's like, yeah, I think any guy would get upset if he found out his girl was getting hurt by some other guy. And she's like, it's not that big of a deal. He, he I couldn't pay him rent. And he, it, it, really, it's fine. I gave him everything. He's like, you're not going anywhere. You two are moving in with us. I don't even care what you say. Fine, but this is temporary and I'm an independent woman and I am going to become successful without you, Mr. Theo. <laughs> I think that's the part of the reason why she was so hesitant to move in is because Anna really wants to be a famous actress and she really wants to earn it on her own. I don't think she wants, I think she's happy using other people to get there, but she wants to become a successful actress. So we'll move both the girls over with their $10. <laughs> okay, so um, Edward is going to let Anna have the big bed. And Edward is going to take the uncomfortable soft bed. He's going to say, you know, have my bed. I don't want you sleeping on the floor. And I think... Uh, Theo and Anna are going to retire for the night. <laughs> she is feeling flirty from a romantic atmosphere. 
Uh, Sims can really feel the romance in the air. They are all steamed up from woohooing in the shower, feeling great and feeling a close connection. Um, and they have decided to continue the party in the bedroom together. And poor Anna and <laughs> Edward are awkwardly sharing a bedroom together even though they barely know each other. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up here you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this part Please let me know what you think of Miss Elizabeth. I think she is gorgeous I am so in love with her So I hope you guys are too and also let me know what you think about the whole fact that the girls are moving in and also with the war coming up How many babies should we have should we try to rush things along even quicker with these guys because we can come back here a lot sooner and skip one of the other families that way we can produce more families for the future so let me know what you guys think i love to hear your thoughts and until next time i am gonna say bye for now